Hey, what's up, guys? It's Rich here from Get Geeked, and we are here with Mark and Eddie, who just unveiled the blank smartwatch. Congratulations, boys. Uh, we'll start with Eddie first. How's it feel? I mean, it feels great. We put a lot of work into developing and designing the product. We're really excited to be able to, you know, share it with the public. And um, I mean, this was our intention from the start to be able to share our product with the community and um, students and uh, workers alike. So it's exciting. Now, Mark, I, I, you know, this is a public event. Yep. You guys are really putting your faces out there for the first time. Give us a little insight into what made you guys want to develop the watch and launch the watch. Yeah, um, well, currently we, we came up with the idea about three years ago when uh, we saw a big problem in, uh, in school. A lot of our students, fellow students, were falling asleep in class, failing tests, getting bad grades, and overall getting in trouble. As we further researched the problem, we found it was also uh, prevalent in security guards and other um, workforces, especially because you, you can't work if you're falling asleep and therefore you can get fired. So um, we've actually launched a product. It's been on the on market for about three months so far. Um, we're very excited to have it um, have it um, available to all our customers. Um, currently, it's on on sale on our website for forty nine dollars, which is a pretty reasonable target price compared to the over three hundred dollar Apple smartwatch. Um, so yeah, so far we've had great feedback from our uh, watch, and we're excited to move forward in the future. Now, this watch, you're using it, you're catering it for the everyday consumer, you're allowing people to really just interface and get the most out of it for a low cost. What was, what was the catalyst for that? I mean, you know, everybody's putting $200, $300 watches out, like you said. What made you want to go in that direction? And with that, how does it feel now getting so much feedback in yeah. such a public setting? Yeah, um, well, as, as you said, uh, it's a lot of other watches, over $200, and at a low target price, it's, it's kind of hard, and it's overwhelming sometimes because you put so much time and so many resources into it. But we believe that this is a product that should be available to all of our customers, especially students alone. Um, we're only 17 years old, both of us. We're only in high school. So we believe that if, it's, if we can make it available to everybody, especially our age, then everybody can experience the, the overall the, the overall joy of the product. Um, so yeah, currently it's at a low target price and we believe that if we can stay at that price, everybody can experience it. All so right. I'm gonna flip it over to Eddie real quick. Eddie, just give us a breakdown on the specs of the watch, battery life, etc. Is it waterproof? Sure. Uh, the watch is water resistant, the battery life is just over two days. We're actually working right now to extend it to uh, over four days, which would be very nice because the watch actually boasts a full color LED um, and it's not black and white display. It's a full cast stainless steel body um, and inside is a series of algorithms and a variety of motion sensors accompanied with actually a data collection center that is used to take all of your motion data and compile it into certain series of algorithms um, that is used for the watch to actually function and tell whether you are awake or asleep and uh, be able also uh, which is also equipped with a 12 volt vibration motor which is used to wake you back up now you were talking about uh, tracking all, all your motion and everything via algorithms uh, what kind of an app interface are you using are you guys relying primarily on iOS or are you guys doing it multi-platform our device is actually a single uh, standalone device. So what that means is we don't use any outside, we don't use iOS, Android. We actually developed our own from scratch um, because we believe that you know every one of our products should be in some way completely original. Um, and another thing we didn't include all these different apps is we really laser focus on a single feature. So the purpose of this watch was to solve a specific problem and not to just be something cool. Um, and the, and the, the problem we were trying to solve was that kids are falling asleep in school and a lot of people have trouble staying awake during the day and during the night jobs. And so it wasn't just something that we came up with and we thought it was cool. It was something that we really wanted to target a problem, a niche problem with. Well, you know what it is? The, the solutions for niche problems usually give us some of the most unique products. So I definitely want to commend you guys for putting yourselves out there and launching such a great product. How has the public impact been so far? You know, everybody able to get hands-on time with it. How, how's that feel for you? I mean, it feels amazing. And the most amazing part is really when you get the feedback. It's when you hear from a narcoleptic or a student and you know that you really did something for them and you changed the way, you know, um, they go about their work or they go about their classroom experience. Um, and the feedback has been phenomenal. 
because as students we started out with no capital and the only thing we could do is launch a crowdfunding campaign which is free and we raised over $24,000 which is enough to fuel our not only one production run but two which is way more than we expected um, so really the response from the public has been phenomenal and all the feedback all the all the help we've gotten from our customers our backers and our just supporters all over the all over the globe has been uh, incredible that's awesome I'm super proud of you guys it's an amazing achievement at 17 to be able to release a product bring it to market and just be so humble about it so definitely congratulations to you both uh, thanks again. Thanks. We appreciate it. Best of luck, and um, you know we'll stop by. All right. Yeah. Thank you.